looking in the upsell. Obviously, it's going to depend on what the upsell is, but is that upsell always going to be a higher, you know, a significantly higher than the than the front end, or 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 are you or are you willing to make that? I mean, almost like the same price, or how are you looking at that upsell in terms of price? Okay, it, it always depends on the front end, um, but I'll tell you, my best successes have been when it's like twenty, thirty bucks more. Um, mm -hmm. then the front end mm -hmm. um, but if you can do something and I've even done where my upsell is cheaper than the front end product so let's say you know I release a product and it's a done for you funnel I do lots of those mm -hmm. so maybe the upsell for an extra 10 bucks they can get extra emails those always do awesome um, it's, it's basically the whole you know hey you just got a hamburger and fries and a coke right you want an ice cream with that or you know an apple pie you don't always have to go bigger you can go lower and, and you'll have really good success doing that but my best ones have typically been 20 to 30 bucks more um, and like I said it's just a, a lot of value packed into it so now when 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 I talk about upsells um, I, I, I'm talking about again like a series of, of mostly related offers at the point of sale so so can can we walk through Let's maybe walk through one of your best projects, um, whatever it is, and, and and can you just kind of talk me through the logic behind? Let's start with the first upsell. So so if you if you can kind of recount something that you did that you really just like the results from, you know, and and that and that you put it put a first maybe second third upsell. What was the logic behind? Let's start with the first upsell. Okay, well with me, I only do one upsell. 95% of the time. I know a lot of people like to do front end, upsell, downsell, another upsell, another downsell. I don't do that. Uh -huh. And the reason I don't do that is because that's the feedback I get from my customers. Do you make more money when you have a lot of upsells and downsells and stuff like that? Of course you do. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't get crazy and you're not one of these guys with, you know, the never ending funnels as I call them. Um, <laughs> But because of the feedback I get from my customers, I'm willing to leave money on the table. Do I recommend others do that? It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you to leave money on the table. But me personally, I will leave money on the table if my customers tell me they don't like having multiple upsells. And a lot of people will tell you that's the worst advice ever. And it, it probably is. But me specifically, because I love my people, and this is why my people love me, because I actually listen to them, I, I would say 98% of the time only do one upsell. So I can't talk about, you know, huge funnels or anything like that, but I can give you some specifics of, of what I've done. So mm -hmm. for instance, um, the last done for you funnel we did. So when I say done for you funnel, that's where we create a funnel for someone. Sometimes it's a squeeze page yep. with emails um, that they can use and they'll typically, you know, promote affiliate products or we do like whole funnels where it's, you know, squeeze page plus we give them products to promote plus all the emails to put in their autoresponder, all that stuff. So that would be the front end. Yep. And then the upsell to that, we do a lot of um, install services. And that the, the logic behind that is, okay, I've just bought this product and, you know, I, and I always give videos to show them how to do it, but a lot of people are like, you know, I don't even want to deal with the techie stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't have the time to do it. So we offer an install service. Those always sell great. Um, with coaching programs I've done, we'll have a front end where they can get into the coaching program. Um, let's say, you know, like, like the, the, the one I did on, you know, how to create your own PLR package. Yep. An upsell to that was, hey, I'll create your PLR package for you. Um, you know, my numbers weren't great on that one because it was uh, a $2,000 product as the upsell. You only need a couple um, of those, so. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I went from, hey, get into this coaching program at 97 and then the upsell was for, you know, 1997 we'll create your PLR package for you. So out of, you know, the 50 plus people that um, joined that, we only had five people and I limited it to five people. I know I could have sold more, mm -hmm. um, but I limited it to five people and we only had five people take us up on that $2,000 upsell. But I've got, you know, 10 people, uh, probably more than that, that are on a waiting list to have us do that. So I could have sold more, so my numbers are a little skewed there. But again, the reason why I did that is because